Good afternoon from a cold, miserable, despite the sun, windy, damp, frost this morning. So the short lived higher temperatures, I think we had 11 degrees, is now plummeted to about 7 degrees, Peterborough. So you're probably looking at the title and thinking, what is that all about? Rats, snakes, seals and red herrings. So let's break that down, bearing in mind the trouble that we had with the sewers, bit of a clue. Right, firstly red herrings. One of the returns, sewer returns, is in the summer room. So this is the summer room, which we've all seen before, and this is the dark room where Cap does her photography stuff. And you're probably thinking, what a complete mess. Well, it is a complete mess because we've had to empty all the cupboards to find out what the smell was. So deep inside the darkness, right underneath, oh, right in this corner, is a four inch sewer pipe. So in the event that um, either of our parents uh, becomes widowed, we can actually change this summer room. The dark room can turn into a toilet and a shower. The garage can turn into a living room. So basically we've got a uh, granny flat, but when we came in, it really smelt bad. Not only of sewage, and we didn't expect to smell that anyway, but animal. Oh, just great. Now, as you can see, these were boards, just blanking boards, but I cut them out so I could get uh, larger items in there. But, darkroom curtain, look at that. So the red herring quickly turned into something else. It wasn't just sewer smell. Yes, as you can guess, rats. So we found large deposits, shall we say, smelly urine, nesting facilities. So we're just thinking to ourselves, if the blockage that was from this um, inspection hatch and then 11 and a half meters down the full length of the drive to the other inspection hatch was blocked the poor rats have nowhere to go because they might actually use that as the m1 so i took all the skirting board out and found evidence of rats rats nests <sighs> just great but moving on right I've just set up a little demonstration of what I found when I looked underneath the cupboards so what we had was four inch sewer pipe this boss and a reducer and where the sink is in uh, the dark room that's how it all was however when I looked at it it was like this clearly making space for some little rodents to come through and start eating stuff in cat's dark room the seal had completely gone and the bottom of the boss was an unse unsuccessful gluing session which was a real shame However, me being me, that's completely fixed and sealed and weighted down. So we're going to need something about as big as a lion in order to get back up. That's that bit. So we've looked at red herrings, we've looked at rats, we've looked at seals. Let's take a look at snakes. So many, many years ago, I had an issue with my flat 
and I bought myself one of these snake vision camera so I'll just have to um, turn you off and back on again and I'll demonstrate how it works so as you can imagine I'm trying my best to get underneath them cupboards and have a look round and all the time I'm thinking how the hell am I supposed to see in the dark so I got this this is a snake camera and these are ideal for going down cavity walls underneath underneath just about anything but from a koi point of view they're ideal for going under filters and looking for leaks on the end of the camera there's two quite bright lights so I've got this set up on my computer and I'm just going to move it around and look at things so as you can see the clarity is pretty good it does struggle in the dark but it does work really well sorry about shaking all over I'm trying to move two cameras at the same time and just by turning and adjusting you can actually see quite well and you can pick out detail quite well good old B&Q so, although it's not been a lot about koi, these are quite a good bit of kit. You get a driver for it to go on your PC. And yes, that helped us because I could see straight underneath, find the problem, and then I could take the kickboard off and fix it. So that's done. That's the snakes bit. I've also got a bit of kit coming um, that I will show you when it arrives. It's coming from Amazon and it's just to doubly show that I can't get any rats into our system. So I'll come back with that in a second. Okay, as promised, the, uh, the missing item has just come through the door. This is what I've bought. Uh, McAlpine anti-rodent barrier. It says for WC connectors. An ARB one. I think this fits. Um, I think it goes in your your pan connector at the back of your toilet. But anyway, I've used it for something else. So this is what it looks like. It's got uh, top written on it there, and basically it's a spring-loaded hinged gate, which allows your waste to flow out. But because it's spring-loaded, the uh, rodents can't go back up this then sits inside your 110 pipe you just give it a bit of a push trust me it fits in there because I've got one already and that sits quite nice um, there's probably plumbers out there that are saying I'm using it in the wrong application and yeah I do appreciate that but I don't want any ratty rats getting in um, what I did on the previous one, I've got one that um, goes over the waste to the, uh, from the drum and I actually pushed this in and drilled a tiny little hole there which dropped into this bit and just put a single screw in just to prevent it from popping out and getting lost. That was just to stop it going down the drain really. So at the moment it's chucking it down so this will be fitted tomorrow. So there you go. Happy, happy days. Cat's just messing around with the photography stuff. Hope you enjoyed this video. Found it a little bit informative. It was nice to make. I enjoyed it. It's winter time. You've got to do something. So in the meantime, two jabs, one booster. Choose an arm. Look after your family. Stay safe. And from a cold Peterborough. Goodbye. <laughs>